Before continuing the presentation of the 83rd Alumni Awards of Merit, I would like everyone in the audience who has been given an Alumni Award of Merit or Young Alumni Award in the past to please stand up. Included in this prestigious group of alumni are Keith and Kathy Sachs, who were planning to attend this evening to celebrate with their class and the other honorees, but could not be here. Please give a round of applause to some of Penn's leading volunteers. Each year, Penn Alumni solicits nominations for the Alumni Award of Merit and the Young Alumni Award through a formal request that appears in the Pennsylvania Gazette and in the electronic newsletter, The Red and Blue Online. I enjoy being on the Penn Alumni Awards and Resolutions Committee, which chooses from among many impressive candidates to select those who deserve recognition in perpetuity for extraordinary and longstanding service to Penn. The committee also selects the Student Awards of Merit, which are presented in May on Ivy Day, and we have some past winners in attendance, as well as some Senior Honor Awards winners with us this evening. Congratulations to all of our 2017 honorees, and thank you for your exceptional efforts on behalf of the university. We are proud to present each of you with a citation and an honorary rosette to be worn proudly, having been inducted into this prestigious group of Penn alumni. Now for the presentation of the Young Alumni Awards for 2017. Brett Weimheimer and Trip Hornick, please come to the podium. Trip, I imagine that growing up in a family where 10 members are Penn alumni <laughs> can be both a blessing and a curse but you've managed to distinguish yourself with the endless energy and time you dedicate to the University of Pennsylvania. Over the years, you've held a variety of positions at Penn. As a class officer, gift committee member, alumni interviewer, Penn alumni board and council member, alumni class leadership council member, and key figure in the graduate club of Mask and Wig, your presence is a fixture at events both in Philadelphia and New York. One of the greatest rewards of staying involved at Penn is knowing that you have friends across the generations of classes, that at any time you can come on campus or attend an event, you can find a friendly face to make you feel at home. Trip, for so many, you are the person whose face makes others feel welcome and at home here. Your charisma and smile have been the welcome sight for so many of us over the years. You set the example for anyone who wants to know the personal satisfaction and joy that are the result of serving Penn and truly being one of its most loyal and dedicated alumni. I can't remember the first time I met Tripp, but I do recall his favorite lines. What can I do? What do you need? When Penn and its alumni are involved, he is always one of the first people to commit his time and volunteer. And the fact that he always does it with such enthusiasm it is what endears him to so many of us. Tripp, you recognize the value of connecting past, present, and future, and remain firmly committed to working together with your fellow Quakers to ensure that our own sacred institution will continue to flourish. For your unique ability to bridge generations of Penn alumni and your tireless commitment to keeping mask and wig as vibrant and fresh as it has been since 1889, Penn Alumni is pleased to present you with the 2017 Young Alumni Award of Merit. Brett, thank you so much. You've, uh, it's been a pleasure to work with you and you are, are a great role model for dedication to Penn. And Penn is family. When I had the incredible honor of presenting the 2005 Alumni Award of Merit to my mother, I made the joke that I bribed a lot of people to receive the 2002 Student Award of Merit. It's okay, you can laugh at that. <laughs> this time I can assure you there was no bribing, so I'm a tad perplexed as to how I ended up on this stage with so many remarkable people. Penn is family. Now, I say this not just because my parents are here, I say this because, as in a family, 
We all support each other. We were there for each other as undergraduates, and we're there for each other now through the joys, triumphs, toil, tears, and sweat of this marvelous journey called life. I will always be there when a member of my Penn family needs help, and I know you will too. Now, no matter how much I give back to Penn, I will never be able to match what I have received, but thankfully this is a family we do not track debts. I ask you, my family, to help me make Penn proud over my next 50 years. Hurrah, hurrah.